What is up everybody, my name is Jib and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you an efficient way to make a uh, bone meal farm. This uses a zero tick kelp farm so you can get kelp from this too. Now let's get into the video. First up, you'll be needing 64 plus 15 smooth stone. Uh, you can use any block you want. It's just a solid block. For um, uh, slabs, you can use any slab you want. Right here, as you can see. You'll need 4 kelp, 8 sand, uh, 4 trapdoors, you can use any trapdoor you want. 4 signs, you can use any sign you want. 4 repeaters, 1 lever, 15 redstone dust. 1 redstone torch, 12 hoppers, 1 observer, 8 chests, 4 composters, 8 sticky pistons, and 4 normal pistons. Now, first up, get the materials here. First up, you'll need to make a redstone clock. So make a um, place one solid block, place a temporary block right there, and put blocks on the side of that. It should be looking like this. Then place your repeater going into the block you want to the pistons to be. So uh, mine is going to be going there. Once you've done that. You need to activate that with a redstone torch and redstone dust. So put your redstone torch on this side to power this redstone uh, repeater and then put a redstone dust right there. And this will make a infinite uh, um, clock. Want to stop that, you'll need a lev lever and activate that to stop the uh, redstone clock. Once you've done that, Put uh, one, two, three, four, five blocks in total behind this uh, on the side of this redstone dust right here, and then you can just put your sticky pistons on the side of that. So just put that right here, four, and then put a uh, smooth stone or any solid block uh, behind these blocks that are on top of these uh, or that are on the bottom of these pis uh, sticky pistons then get your redstone dust and just power these pistons right here as you can see it should look like this mm. and then place your solid blocks be uh, in front of these then you can just cover these up right here place your sand blocks in front of these extended uh, piston heads and then on top of this piston heads right here then you can put your uh, solid blocks uh, in between these top and bottom sand blocks and also on the back too and you can just cover these and this. Now it should look be looking something like this. Then you can just make a, um, a one block wall right here, like that. Cover this all up. Then you'll get your normal pistons. I'm sorry, you'll only need four sticky pistons for this one, so you don't need eight. Then you can just put your pistons on top of these blocks right here. These will push the cap to the hoppers. Once you've done that, you can cover these all up right here on top. And on this right side right here. And then leave a one block gap right there. And just cover this thing like this. Because this will be... Uh, where you will put your observer to observe if the uh, kelp has grown. So 
go to the side or the back of the side right here place your observer and it should face into the pistons right here then you'll need to make a uh, little line of redstone so one two it, it is very important it, that it's two then make a uh, line right here so one two and then just uh, cover this here until you get to your four pistons right there place your redstone dust right there and on this uh, block right here make a two by two platform so one two three four like that now you'll need to uh, make a little bit of a contraption here so to slow down the um, piston so place a uh, redstone repeater that way and then a redstone repeater that's going inwards to the pistons like this and then another uh, redstone repeater going into the pistons by the side like that then you can just put your redstone dust right there it is very important that uh, this is here so that the farm will be functional then you can just put your redstone dust behind these redstone uh, pistons once you've done that get your um, slabs and just just put them on top of these pistons right here or on the side of the block then place your trap doors beside that in front of them so you can just open these so when the uh, kelp is broken you can just add more kelp by opening these trap doors right here now once that's done you need to make this wall uh, one block in front like this to cover up these trap doors right here on the front now once that's done place a temporary block on each of these four blocks right here get your chests and hoppers and also your uh, composters place your chests in front of those um, temporary blocks break these temporary blocks and replace them with hoppers connecting into these chests like that now put your composter uh, one block gap uh, from the chest so one then your composter underneath this chest like this these will make your kelp into uh, bone meal then put your hoppers and crouch and then put your hoppers on top of these composters so when they catch the from the chest uh, the kelp will go into the um, hoppers, go into the chest, go into another hopper, and then go into the composter, which makes your uh, kelp into bone meal. Then break these uh, blocks in front of these um, composters, like one, two, three, four, and then underneath those two, four. Also, go to the back of these composters. You should have a uh, one block gap here break these again this is for temporary temporarily so place your chest in front of here and then put your hoppers behind these crouch and then put them in front of it then you can just get your um, whatever your block that you dug up you can just place that back and now your collection system is done now you will need a wa uh, two water buckets and then make a water uh, infinite water source so dig up a 2x2 two two hole to make a water source uh, infinite water source or you can just make a 2x2 two two hole like this but because we're in, uh, on the ground we can just make a 2x2 two two hole like that so just break these right here now get your water 
but not yet because you will need some glass panes uh, this is optional you can use any kind of um, blocks that can prevent water from going you can use buttons so let's just get ourselves buttons here so you can put your glass panes like this or your buttons like this and this it's pretty much up to you so I'll just recommend uh, buttons because it's cheaper than the um, glass paints so you can just put your um, buttons like that so the water won't go out then you can go up to these uh, slabs that you put on top of here place water to waterlog it and as you can see the water uh, does not come out it is pretty cursed but it's a little bit cheaper than glass paints once you've done that get your four signs and then just place it in front of the water right here in the inside so place in sign sign another sign and sign like that this prevents the water uh, from getting over here so this is like this double security system for the water so yeah now you can just open up the trap doors or you can just go here and then put your kelp on the sand you can't put kelp on anything else only sand uh, uh, grass and I think coarse dirt I think so so yeah sand is uh, is the thing you need most because it falls which uh, triggers the zero tick shirking farm so let's just put our uh, kelp here and your farm is pretty much done actually so as you heard if we put our kelp in here as you can see uh, it goes into the composter which then makes a bone meal and puts it into this chest so how this works is you activate the sliver to activate the redstone clock which then um, makes the pistons go crazy which then make, triggers the Zertic shuriken farm so let's just um, activate it to show you you can see it infinitely gives you uh, sure, uh, uh, help but it is a pretty, pretty lag oh no So that was a little bit of a fail. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it can break sometimes, but mostly it doesn't. So let's just try our, uh, the one I built before. Uh, the reason this didn't work properly because uh, I think this is not on a chunk border so I have a texture pack by Foxy Notia go check him out that lets you see um, chunk borders so let's just get our armor stand here and a banner so uh, if you want to get this texture pack I'll put a link in the description to his channel and his website to download this um, and how to use it. Now this is the spawn area so let's just chunk. Uh, yes, as you can see um, the redstone is a bit off because it is on a chunk border which breaks a little bit of the machine. And this is fully on a chunk border right here which doesn't break it's a little bit of a complicated thing with the chunk borders but it is very important that uh, 
your uh, cup farm or bone meal farm is on a chunk border right here on the middle or a little bit to the side but not the redstone must not be sticking out of the chunk border right here so yeah if you want to get this texture pack you can get it on the description which is Foxy Notio's website which then you can see the chunk border before you build this design right here as you can see I just used, used uh, glass panes because it's not a little bit worse. so yeah it's very important that this is uh, on a chunk border you know, and yeah so let's just use this one for the example I forgot to tell you about the chunk border so as you can see it works flawlessly let's see a ball mirror you can see all the clouds uh, 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 the cloud goes into the hopper which then goes into the composter which then goes into the suck out the hoppers into and if you don't uh, want the bone meal, you can then just make another um, contraption. So if we get ourselves some uh, levers, and then yes, we then make a simple contraption right here behind these. These lock the hopper. So if we get this one right here on the this one, so if we turn it on, the iron is going in here on top. Stop. Turn this off if you are logging off or if the um, f you are far away from your render distance. So if we make this um, turn on and then we go out a little bit until it is not seen in our render distance. Okay, a little bit like that. And then we'll go back. Uh, it can't break like, instantly, but sometimes it breaks. If you do not turn it off, and you are like far away where you can't blow the chunks. So, yeah. and I hope you enjoyed this today's tutorial. And if you want me to make tutorials like this, uh, please like and subscribe to uh, support me and get me a lot. Uh, 80 subscribers we're almost at 80 subscribers yeah so uh again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye